Portraits are essential for maintaining an online presence. While static images are lightweight and easy to use and share, they do not possess the expressiveness of a video portrait. Cinemagraph portraits, which contain animated regions within a still frame, are both lightweight and retain the expressiveness of videos. However, they are unfortunately difficult to create. We present a technique that generates a portrait cinemagraph from an input video automatically. For an input video, we first compute KLT tracks. We also track facial feature points throughout the video so that we can determine the location of the face as well as the moving facial parts relative to it. Using this information, we prune tracks that lie on moving regions and fit a homography using RANSAC with the remaining tracks to align the face and torso. The selected tracks successfully immobilizes the face after using a spatially varying walk. We use a 2D graph cut to composite the walked video with a still image. Penalties which act as constraints are generated automatically to encourage moving facial parts to be retained in the final output while the rest of the image is still. Here is our final result. Notice that the eyebrows are successfully composited in the final output. In this example, our algorithm successfully immobilizes the face and composites the blinks as well as the smiles onto the still frame. Notice that it loops seamlessly. Our algorithm successfully creates a portrait cinemagraph from a shaky input video with large facial animations. Our algorithm is able to handle portrait cinema graphs with a side profile as well. Notice the subtle animations on the face as well as the throat. Although there is a slight rotation of the face, our algorithm is able to create a portrait cinema graph. Note that the slight rotation can be seen in the output. Our algorithm can also handle large dynamic motions in the face, as seen in this example. Note that the hair on the left is not well composited. Although the head has small rotations in this example, our algorithm is able to generate a reasonable portrait cinema graph. Our algorithm can also handle jaw movements, as shown in this example. This example is shot using a cell phone camera. Our algorithm generates a reasonable result even with a low quality input video. This example is also shot with a cell phone camera. Here is another example shot with a cell phone camera. Notice that some region of the background is also animated since it is very close to the face. In this example, the facial feature tracker failed to detect the jaw, and therefore, the video was stabilized with respect to it, causing the head to move about in the output. Our algorithm cannot handle large sudden movements as we use a temporally constant mask. Notice the incorrect composite of the jaw when it opens.
To evaluate our automatic track selection method, we compare it to a user-guided method. We are looking at warped videos. Our automatic track selections selects fewer but crucial tracks for warping. Notice that our warped video is visually similar to the manual approach. Our method is also faster. Similarly, in this example, our approach selects fewer tracks but is able to immobilize the face. Notice how our method selects tracks at the bridge of the nose, which can be difficult to do manually. In this example, our method is able to immobilize the face as well as the manual technique. For compositing, our method generates an output cinema graph that is as good as the user-guided result while using less computation as we use a 2D MRF instead of a 3D MRF. Similarly, in this example, our automatically generated result looks as good as the user-guided result. The delay in frames is due to the different ways the two algorithms handle looping. Here is another comparison where our method generates a portrait cinema graph that is as good as the user-guided result. In summary, our method allows users to create compelling portrait cinema graphs without any effort. Our algorithm is fully automatic and it's faster than previous work without deterioration in perceptual quality. Thank you.